Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is um, Thursday, September 19th, 2019 in Eastern Standard Time in Rochester, New York. It's 2 or 3 p.m. and this is my coping with schizophrenia vlog entry for today. Today I wanted to talk about <clears throat> being isolated, physically isolated from other people while you have a mental illness. That's never a good thing. I mean, if you spend too much time alone and you're, you have a psychosis or a mood disorder or anxiety, schizophrenia, whatever, um, it's not a good idea to stay isolated all the time from other people. Human beings, whether they're mentally ill or not, are social creatures in need, friends, acquaintances, coworkers, other students in school to be around them. We need other people, whether we want to admit that or not. It's not to say you shouldn't spend some time alone. We all need some time for ourselves to relax. But if you're spending all your time alone, you're just setting yourself up for making your psychiatric problems worse if you have them to begin with. And I live in Rochester, New York. Right now it's autumn. Um, it's pretty sunny out today. It's actually not bad. It's about 60, 70 degrees outside no rain or snow um but eventually in rochester the snow will eventually come and well rochester's winters aren't probably as bad as like i don't know canada um or russia we can still have some pretty nasty blizzards um that could drop anywhere from one to three feet of snow in one night more so in buffalo new york to the west of rochester they're more notorious for their severe snowstorms that are worse than Rochester's. When that happens, um, when you get three feet of snow in one night, there's no way you're going to dig your car out and expect to drive it if you have a car, and that's how you get around. Um, public transportation in Rochester would shut down, so it would be true in Buffalo, New York. Um, and as far to my knowledge, Buffalo doesn't have... Uh, subway underground um rochester certainly doesn't so the point is that um when the snow drops and falls very quickly in one night you there's no way you're going to get your car moving public transportation is not running and so you're pretty much isolated in the place you were when the snowstorm hit my ex-girlfriend got caught in a snowstorm she wasn't at her own home she was at her daughter's, I believe. And when the snow came to Buffalo, they had like three or four feet in one night. And she was stranded there um, at her daughter's house until the snow was cleared by the city, which they do the best they can. They try to salt the streets and remove the snow off the sidewalks and even more so on the streets. That takes time. So she was isolated by the snow for three or four days. Well, not isolated. She was with her daughter. But the point is that um, if you're alone and the snow makes you even more alone, um, that's not good. You have to have a backup plan about what you're going to do. Um, uh, staying physically active during that kind of a snowstorm is kind of difficult. I've seen people um, jogging in the snow and skiing in the snow on the streets. I guess that's one way of, of getting out. I personally am not going to jog in the snow. And I'm certainly not going to ride my bike. Um, although I have seen people do it. If that works for you, fine. I mean, if you want to run around, run around in the snow, as long as you do it safely and wear proper clothing, I suppose that's one way of getting outside and getting out and doing things. Um, but you should have a plan for the upcoming winter, whether it's Rochester, New York, or fucking Antarctica. You should make plans to have like some way to exercise in your own home, like buy a stationary bike or a weight set or something. Um, make plans to uh, be able to stay physically active um, if possible. And if the snowstorm or the rain is not too bad, make sure you have a, uh, the ability to move around and visit other people friends, family, that kind of thing. Um, you may have to wait for a few days after snowfall for you to do that.
but also technology gives you a good way to be at least in contact with other people. Um, I could easily do a video call to my ex-girlfriend um, on Facebook. That's one way of seeing people eye to eye and talking to them in real time. So technology could be used in that. In some cases, the snow is just so bad you happen to be isolated when the snow fell. And there's not much you can do about being around other people. The best thing you do is wait it out. Stay physically active. Keep your mind occupied. Read a book. Figure out jigsaw puzzles, whatever. Um, and then when the streets are a little bit clearer and the weather isn't so bad, make plans to be around other people. Um, go to a local church that you might belong to and be around other people. Um, or some other organization like a school. I mean, if you're going to school or working, that's great. That helps you be around other people. Um, some people don't work because of their mental illness is severe, more severe than mine. Um, I at least have some basic understanding that I am psychotic and I need to take my medicine to keep myself stable. Not everyone does that, though. But anyways... Find a way to stay physically active if you become isolated. Use social media to contact other people face-to-face, -face, like on Facebook or Google Hangouts or whatever it might be. Um, and then when the streets are cleared, the sidewalks are cleared, um, make plans to be around your family and friends and things like that. Because after being isolated for two or three or four or five days because of snow, it's extremely important that you get to talk to somebody in person and visit them if possible. Um, the bottom line is being isolated during a snowstorm is not good for your mental health. Sometimes you can't do anything about it. Like I said, you might be stranded by the snow, sort of caught off guard. And the best thing to do is use social media to contact people directly. And I don't mean just like Twitter or Facebook. I mean actually talking to somebody. If you use Facebook, you can talk to somebody in real time. You can see their face. They can see your face. You could be in different cities and still be able to do that. Um, and once the snow is cleared out by the city or the town or the village that you live in, try to be around other people, be active physically, um, go for walks if the streets are clear enough, um, smile and hit, say hello to strangers. That goes a long way in lifting your mood. Um, and just try to stay active and be around other people. Once the snow has been cleared or the severe rain stops. I ain't got much more to say than that other than being isolated in the middle of winter for mentally ill people. Psychotic or not, it's not a good thing. Share, like, subscribe, comment.